This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys, welcome back to this video. And in this particular video, as you have seen from the title, we are going to be taking a look at the what I hunted in the last 30 days. So let's get into the video. But before going to the video, we are having announcements here. And here we are having few new courses, master course for those who are into beginner and want to start their journey into bug bounty. You guys can definitely take a look at the master course. It's gonna be around 50 days with tons of content in it, so make sure you pause the video, check it out. Now to those who are not into bug bounty but want to level up their skills in a great amount, make sure you go to the elite one. Because in this one, it's completely hands-on. We have reported almost few bugs every session, so make sure you check this one out and level up your journey in the best possible way. And now for those into Android bug bounty, yeah this one is for you. Definitely it's a recorded one, you can watch it at your own pace. But And also, this one is the recording of a live course, so you are gonna get tons of content and make sure you also take a look at this particular part. And tip, JS code review. As you guys know how important a source code review would be, this is gonna be having a lot of details into him, lot of labs, lot of resources in it, so make sure you pause the video and take a look at the syllabus. And I guess uh, that was for it. All the links are saved in the description, so make sure to check them out and get your discount. So in this particular video we are gonna be taking a look at what I hunted in the last 30 days for information let me tell you already I usually do not hunt on targets these days what I do is like majorly over the contracts or the projects you guys can say but apart from that if I have the time I usually hunt on like based on reconnaissance only and apart from the reconnaissance part if I'm hunting I'll usually hunt with the classes or in this particular one to one batches so whatever I have hunted in the last 30 days, I'll definitely mention all of that things out here. We are going to be opening my email ID and taking a look at all the reports I made. One by one, what exploit I used, what type of uh, tools, what type of techniques, what type of reconnaissance docs, one-liners. Whatever I have used, I'm going to be mentioning all of them out here. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So here we are on our computer screen. As I said, I'll show a few reports from what I have reported in the last 30 days. So majorly from the last 30 days, yeah, I was not very much of doing bug hunting at all. But yeah, I was kind of busy with the classes, with the projects or what you can say, contracts. I majorly hunted on my classes, the Elite Bug Bounty Batch. Or apart from that, I have hunted on the one-to-one -one classes or maybe few reports by myself solo as I don't hunt regularly these days. But I'm majorly hunting on VDPs when I do. So let's go to the browser and have a look on the reports. So let's just try to add a date here, custom range. Last month one to just let's add the date of today. Great. As you can see, there is somewhere around 38 reports. Now see, most of them are belonging to only one technique, which is the info uh, confidential leaks and all. As I'm most of the doing recon, as I'm not hunting very regularly. The most thing I'm trying to do is reconnaissance only. So let me let's just take a look over the reports. So the first one starts with the some API leaks. Definitely having a simple JS recon can help. Also, I have made a tool for it. So let me just show you that tool. This is the tool you guys can use. Also, we made this in that batch itself already. This is gonna be exploring all the lines, all the uh, JS files for internal links and also for the AWS, APIs, that type of thing. And apart from that, there's one more resource for you that you guys can use to discover that type of issues. I have recently updated this. 
these four one liners you guys can definitely have a look upon you can use this to find api keys and all these things inside of a list of urls it can be js file php files or normal subdomain list it depends on you Second thing is uh, exposure of proprietary XYZ documentation and confidential and something else. So I have to blur it out. Maybe yeah. So let me op try to open this file. As you can see, the most thing I have mentioned is leaked information about a target that is having plenty of information which really can be affecting to multiple parts of this organization. How I found it, it was quite simple. See a using star.nl and then you can try to use this type of docs confidential extension is PDF. Now I can add more and more details to this one. As you can see, uh, I'm trying to use uh, so here I'm trying to use another formation of the same Google Doc. This is gonna be one of the most uh, good or my you can say rewarding format of this particular bug. As you can see confidential internal use only or top secret these three things we would like to take a look into the wire pdf doc or ppt files txt and csv this is going to be greatly rewarding if you use it very properly yes for me it has been so that bug was discovered by that technique simple another one is ssrf due to markdown let me show you puc of it i think i already uploaded it over the LinkedIn as you can see also I have made a video about it already so you guys can definitely have a look over it Here is the same PC video of it SSRF via markdown so make sure to check it out that's gonna be as simple as that The next one is uh, Disclosure again yeah it is a disclosure that we found using the same Google Doc Then we go to the uh, Okay another confidential contact termination documents are there that is gonna be another leaked information on some target that has also been a good response from that target another one bug bounty confidential financial details are also leaked about some target as you guys can definitely check this one this has been a good response also exposure of sensitive yeah another information leak information leak information leak information leak okay this one was about the uh, LDAP logins and all If possible, uh, I'll also try to share a report of it in that apart from LDAP, yes, there was a SSTI we discovered recently. It is also really, si really simple. So as you can see, just navigate to the sign up page, first name as this particular page, it's a VDP. That's why I have not exploited it further or else this can be a really good discovery overall. Another log disclosure, I found it using the JSX tool in the JS file. I was, I, tried, I was able to get a dot log extension and that gave me a good discovery of it. Public disclosure, another information leak. Another information leaks are there. Another information leak is there as you guys can see. I was able to find some sort of contracts and disclosed table information which is also going to be a good reward unauthorized exposure of credentials document obviously uh, sorry confidential document in this particular document i was able to have two documents only but in this particular one that was some sort of internal presentation that gave me a good response from the target information disclosure information disclosure Another information disclosure. Info disclosure, info disclosure. And now here is a OTP bypass. So the OTP bypass was also kind of simple, not very complicated. Without providing OTP, I can simply move on to the upcoming places or upcoming locations. That's all I'll say in the simple words.
OTP bypass then there is an open redirection URL equals start the right evil.com if you want to find open redirections easily try to use this particular one liner that's gonna be a good one simple good response we got an invite user password link this is a simple i tried this one to have a look at the comp company's response time virus total one nothing else one xss is there payload is this one and it was supposed to be in the chatbot but they were using their own chatbot that's how i was able to perform this particular security issue and got a response exposed credentials as you can see exposed credentials are here not a big deal to deal with them in a js file but it was really very simple finding using this particular one liner so make sure you go and have a look over them and we go to the lfi as you can see call iphone ksi and then this is the lfi i think it's actually a cv 2025-30208 so make sure you definitely have a look over it it's in the white dev server and then the last one again ssti 255388 this is the cv i also made a video over it So on both of this CV you guys will find videos here SSTI is there and LFI is here So most of the bugs that you saw in this particular one discovered in the bug bounty batch the elite one if you want to join the elite bug bounty batch the link is in the description make sure to check all this out and all what I do when I trying to hunt is on public programs not on mostly you know private or platform I'm basically working on the VDPs or this type of program as I'm not spending too much time over it I usually hunt in the classes and all that type of things so that's why that's been a good option for me that has also been a good rewards for me and now I'll attach all the screenshots of the rewards we got from the next month this one this October I'm gonna be majorly hunting for a few program so let's see what I find and we'll be having a look over the next video. So that was for the video majorly. If you have any questions apart from that let me know in the comment section and apart from that make sure to take a look at all the links in the description and if you want to join the elite batch go for one to one batches make sure to take a look at all the details that are also mentioned in the description so you don't forget any of them. All the resources all the other links are also in the description so make sure to read the whole description one by one whatever you need and yeah. That's all. See you guys in the next video. Have a good day.